Mixed Media Mayhem coming up. Hi, Yvette here. I'm going to show you how to clean gourds inside and out. This is a gourd, it's a bottle gourd, and part of it came clean naturally, but it's still got a lot of waxy finish on the outside, and you can't craft with this because there's so the 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 dyes and the paints and everything just won't stay on. So we have to clean this. I'm going to put in a sink full of water with a touch of Dawn dishwashing detergent, some Murphy's oil soap, and about three cups of liquid cheap fabric softener. And I'm going to put a towel over them so that they stay submerged in the water. And I'll show you in I'll show you what happens after two hours of being in the sink. See you in a little bit. Okay, my gourds have been soaking for three hours. As you can see, it's very slimy. The the wax coating is very slimy now. And I'm going to use I'm going to use a steel scrubby. You could get these at the dollar store three for a dollar or I bought a bigger one at the regular grocery store for two dollars. And I'm gonna be over the sink and scrubbing it. And I'm not gonna show that to you because I don't want my camera to fall in the water. So I'll show it to you when I'm done scrubbing. Hi, it took me about two minutes to scrub all that gunk off and it looks great. I have to let it dry for 24 hours then it'll be ready to clean on the inside and I'll show that to you when we come back. Hi, I showed you how to clean the outside of the gourd. Now I'm going to show you how to clean the inside of a gourd. Here's our gourd, nice and clean, ready to go. I'll show you how to cut it open and clean the inside of the gourd. And what we need to clean this gourd, the bottom is not even, so I'm putting on this, put it in on the stabilizer, and I'll put the link in. And I got it at Amazon. It costs about twenty-five dollars, but it's worth every penny because it holds your gourd still. What I have here is a can of spray paint. Any can, any thing will do that's the height that you want. Now one thing I know for sure is this gourd, the top of this gourd is going to be a fairy top. That I know. And I don't know what the bottom is going to be yet. We'll find out when we get into the gourd see how thick it is. So I know I want it to be about this tall. About as tall. I chose this can because it was the right height for what I needed. Now I'm going to position my pencil on top of the can and just hold it still up against the gourd as I spin the stabilizer. And hopefully I'll get a straight line. Well, I lost my leg. Alright, here I am. This is how it you get a straight line. You don't have to use a stabilizer if you're if you have a flat bottom on your gourd, you don't have to use an aerosol can. You can use anything you want that's the right height. You do have to use a pencil, however. You can use, oh, my leg just broke. You can use a pen or a marker, but I don't recommend it. All right, now, the next thing I have to do, I'm going to turn off the sound for the next bit because I'm going to use a uh, a drill. I'm going to use a drill and drill a hole right here, right just on the line, right where I want it. Because I'm not going to worry about, since I'm not making a lid on this, I'm not worried about having a little bump there where the line is when I cut it open. And I'll show you that in a second.
All right, now I'm going to use, let me show you this little saw. I don't know if you can see it. This is a Micro Lux saw. I got it from the caning shop, caningshop.com. And it's a good little saw. It's not the toughest little saw you ever saw. That's an interesting phrase. It's not the toughest little saw, but it works well for me. It doesn't do, if the gourd is more than an inch thick, I wouldn't use it. I would use a bigger, uh, heavy duty jigsaw. But this little jigsaw works really well for a gourd that's less than an inch thick. And most gourds are less than an inch thick. So I'm going to, once again, I'll turn off the sound because this is very loud. I'm going to follow the line I just drew and I'm going to go right around. In fact, I have to hold it while I cut it. So I'm going to turn off the camera and show you the open gourd when I'm done cutting. Now, there's my cut line. You can see it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to take it off. You can see the inside of the gourd. My gourd's about a half inch thick. Very nice. I'm going to have to clean it out. That's what the top looks like inside. This is what the bottom looks like inside. Looks like we have quite a few good seeds. Maybe I'll throw them out in the garden and see if I get anything. Haven't had much luck growing gourds lately, but it's fun to try. All right, let me show you this next little tool. It's a handy dandy tool. I'm not sure what it's called. I call it a scraper. You can get this at Candy. You can get this any place that sells gourd supplies. You can get these. They only cost a few dollars. And I'm going to put on, for this next step, I'm going to put on a mask because it's very dusty and dry inside. And uh, I don't want to get any of that dust in my lungs because it can cause some serious problems. Here's a safety tip. Whenever you clean a gourd, wear a mask. Whenever you carve a gourd or cut it open, wear a mask. So I'm going to put my mask on right now. That means I'm going to stop talking. And I'll show you how I clean the inside of the gourd. clean my gourd out as much as I can with my scraper. Now I'm going to attach this to my drill. I'm going to open my window, get some ventilation in here. I'm going to attach this to my drill to get the rest of the garbage out of the gourd because I can't do anything when that stuff is in there. It's not safe for me to breathe. It's not safe for anyone to breathe. That's why I'll be putting on a mask, opening the window, turning on the fan as I do this. I'm just Ball attachment's not working, and let me use another cleaner. I bought this recently. The carbide tip. I, again, I use it with the drill. So I'm going to try this. It's got a much longer shaft, and I don't like that, but it's got this carbide, and the ball's not working so well, so let's hope this works better. Okay. If I choose, I could still do some nice carving on this, or I could make it into a drum, or I could make it into a blade, anything, you know, limited only by my imagination, this is 
you are limited only by your